Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. Today we're going to do some stevia. So this is my stevia from my garden, harvested yesterday. And supposedly you can taste a leaf and it'll be sweet. Oh my goodness, that's really, really sweet. Wow, okay, I did not expect that. Well, we're going to make some stevia extract. And we're going to make some powdered stevia, and hopefully I can show you how to use it. That's really sweet. First thing you want to do is wash off your stevia. At this point, you want to pull the leaves off, and most of the videos I've seen be honest let me show you down here I just don't think they know how to do it they're going one leaf by one leaf by one leaf hold the tip pull your fingers down it strip it and pop the tip off and keep the tip okay so don't pick it off leaf by leaf hold the tip whoops and sometimes it breaks but you know Pull them down. Very simple. They are really sweet. Save the tip. Apparently the tip has the most sugar in it. And while you're growing it, a lesson I learned is the minute you see flowers, deadhead it. Matter of fact, you can take it down within um, six inches of the dirt. Because once it starts flowering, it'll actually kill the plant. So, unfortunately, I'll probably lose that plant that's flowering out at the retreat. But that's all you do. You don't want the stems. Yes, the stems have stevia in it, but it's so minute and they're bitter that you just don't want them. Okay? So let me go ahead and uh, get this done. And then all we're going to do with this, we're going to make some extract to start. Okay, after two days, you want to pour your stevia into a fine mesh strainer or use cheesecloth. And you don't want to push too much, but my uh, stevia is, and I'm holding my camera because my other camera's broken. And you want to push all that nice juice out. Okay. And now you want to cook this over low heat. Do not let it boil or it will get really bitter. So we're going to cook it over low heat for 30 minutes. Now they warned this would happen. Do you see the sediment now? It actually clumps. Anything that makes it through the strainer will clump. And then we'll strain that out again. Pretty trippy, huh? Alright, it's got uh, another uh, 20 minutes. Okay, this is going to be fun trying to film this holding the camera because this camera won't go on the tripod. Alright, so I'm going to try to hold you with my finger there. I've got some uh, um, flower sock towels and I uh, made a well. I'm going to do the final strain. The reason you're cooking it for 30 minutes is to get the alcohol out. And I pray I get it into the jar. And you're just going to pour it in, let it strain through. See, and that's all those specks that we saw collecting. And there we go. We now have stevia extract. So I'm going to take a spoon and I'm going to taste it. It's warm now, but I'm not going to put much on my spoon. See that? Maybe a little less than half a teaspoon, I would say. Oh, 
I would say that there's still alcohol in it. Definitely still alcohol. I'm going to cook it some more. No, definitely don't like the alcohol. Wooshka. Let's cook it again. Maybe I just didn't simmer it hot enough. Okay, borrowing the camera, see if we can give you the after results on this. This is the stevia powder. It's green. I've got about two tablespoons, which is one cup. Now, when I finish grinding the stevia in the coffee grinder, I uh, took and added some water to it. And that is really uh, a half a teaspoon. It's probably about a teaspoon of sugar. And that's just the powder added to some water from the coffee grinder. Really very good. I really like it. This is the stevia needs to be filtered again that I did with the alcohol I don't like it I don't like it at all it's bitter it tastes heated um, this is wonderful it stores I mean it's a powder you can just store it you can mix up your stevia whenever you want with water and you don't have to waste your alcohol so what I'm gonna try to do is since I get a camera I can use all the time I'm going to try to create a recipe with the powdered stevia. Probably need a little more. Um, I could probably make a small cake or, some, or a zucchini bread or something with uh, two tablespoons. So I've got to keep in mind I only have one cup of sugar here and see how it does. I'm going to use this in coffee and things like that and see how much it actually takes to sweeten it very, very slightly. Um, I probably use a teaspoon and a half of that sweet cream that you get, like the vanilla cream in my coffee. And we'll see how much it takes to get that kind of flavor. And this stuff, I'm probably just going to throw it out. I really, really don't like it. So, you know, for those of you that like it this way, go for it. I'm going to stick with the easy way. Blessings.